Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of March, okay? So, you could say March 22nd through the 31st, whatever. I guess we're going to take those. What do we have for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last week of March? I will do the uh, April readings uh, after I get these ones done. Ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Dog. Protection from a powerful friend. Quill. Get back to the basics. Gong. An exciting event. So there's going to be an exciting event. May have to do with... Uh, Whatever this is, this marriage, and this marriage, you know, it could be a proposal, but whatever it is, it's romantic or business. It's going to be an exciting event. You do have some protection from a friend. It could be somebody that has passed away. It is time for you to get back to the basics in some endeavor. Probably with your life, okay? What do we have for Scorpio? I don't know about you, but my life is crazy. And we tend to mirror each other because, you, you know, I'm a Taurus and you're the opposite. So I wonder if life is crazy right now. For some reason, I wanted to tell you that. Maybe you need to slow down. I think you probably do. I don't know if that's feasible, but it's a good thought. Anyhow, um, high priestess. You could be dealing with a tarot reader, psychic medium. Um, this could also be your energy, a time to reflect, a need to reflect, a need to go within. Maybe work on your spirituality. This is somebody that is very self-sufficient, independent, chooses to be independent. You may have a gift. You may have some sort of gift that can help you in some way or you may be receiving advice from somebody that is very very gifted um it is time to go within though listen to your gut you may have to make an, a decision this week listen to your gut queen of wands could be dealing with a aries leo sagittarius could be dealing with anybody this is a card of confidence willpower determination strength courage bravery there's a need to be brave. There's a lot of strength in this card. So you're, this is a card of strength. A need to be strong. You're going to need to be strong for some reason. This is also an entrepreneur. Somebody may be starting their own business. For some of you, it could be it could be a you know a spiritual business, but it doesn't have to be. You may be being guided to start your own business. Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of competition in a tough position. Stand your ground. In the past, we have Six of Pentacles reversed, so that's not receiving what you deserve. You may be in a position where you're not getting the pay that you deserve, or the money that you deserve, or the reciprocation that you deserve. You have all the skills you need to succeed independently, okay? Because the High Priest is a very independent energy. Um, you could, it feels like you're, you, maybe you're lacking financially. You may be able to sell your gift, whatever it is your gift is. You have some sort of gift or skill that you can sell and you can make money off of, off of. Anyhow, um, Seven of Wands is in a tough position. I feel like you have, you probably have a lot of irons in the fire right now. Um, I think that you may be feeling a little overwhelmed. You may need time to reflect on your options. I think that you probably will be thinking about your options. You may have a lot of people asking you questions. You may have a lot of people that are poking you and you're probably thinking about your options. You should be thinking about your options. You could be receiving advice from somebody or an offer from somebody. You know, this person sees your skills. I feel like you have some skills that can make you some money. Um, so 
something about competition as well. There's some sort of competition here. You could be part of the competition. Magician, this is skilled, skilled. You have some serious skills. This is a gift. You have a skill that can definitely make you money, that can bring you success. All you have to do is take action. I feel like this is going to be an action-packed week for you. You may, Somebody may even be picking a fight with you that makes you reflect, makes you reflect on what you want for your future. I feel like uh, this is about resources. You have all the resources. You have all the skills you need to do your own thing. There's a divine connection here as well with the magician. That's a divine connection to source. It's a card of manifestation. So you may have manifested an opportunity that is coming to you. You could also be dealing with a Gemini that is taking action. Somebody is taking action. I feel as though your intuition is going to be spot on during this week. You may be receiving messages from above. Pay attention to the messages. Pay attention to the signs. You haven't been getting what you deserve. Hmm. You are, you're going to be in a powerful position this week. You may get a new vision. These are both visionaries. Ten of Pentacles. Now this is financial success, financial security. You are going to be either starting your own business or starting your own... Uh, you could be buying a home. Something is going on here. You have a skill that can make you some serious money and you should be... Finding your courage and your confidence and your strength to just go for it. Seriously. Whatever this is, this could make you rich, you know, or financially stable. Interesting. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. You're, you know, I feel as though, you know, you, but the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. I think that you've, you've may have, you maybe you've been working with somebody who has abused your generosity or they have abused their power over you. There could be a fight with somebody that you work with. It could be even be somebody that you live with. I don't know. That Seven of Wands is some sort of battle, stiff competition. You could be fighting with the competition, but you are part of the competition. You, you are. You know, you are skilled enough to be in that competition. Okay, so there's some sort of competition here where you have the skills to win whatever this battle is. I think that you are very skilled at whatever it is that you do and you should be selling this skill. That's what I see. I feel like, I mean, this is a card of as above, so below. It's like you have manifested long-term security long-term stability prosperity abundance this is a yes answer knight of pentacles wow wow now this is a card of laying a new foundation you're going to be laying a new foundation this week something new is happening it's definitely a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. It feels like your hard work is paying off. Again, we have skills. We have skills, 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 skills. You are very skilled. You've got a skill that can make you money. And I don't know how many times i got to say it, but you need, to, you need to go. It's almost like an independent. You need to be independent. And, and it's interesting. Independently owned and operated. Something like that. There's some serious financial security that is coming to you. Somebody sees your value, they see your work, they see your skills, and you are the chosen one for whatever this is. You may see a change in status, a change in position this week. It feels like your hard work has definitely paid off. 
this is an exciting event. It really is. Somebody's going to be making you an offer that is too good to pass up. Or you get some sort of vision. Okay, you get some sort of vision. And you should definitely say yes. You should follow your gut. Your gut is going to give you the answer. Anyway, you have some sort of skills that can make you money. And perhaps it's time to lay the foundation that you have worked so hard to get to. You, you, I think that you have gotten to a point where you are the best option Knight of Pentacles. That is a golden opportunity. You have passed some sort of test. This is passing a test. You have persevered. This is perseverance. You've persevered through some sort of hardship. Now it's time to take action towards your long-term success. So you're going to be, some of you may be buying a house, I don't know, or, or something, investing in a house or investing in a new business. But the answer is yes, whatever this is. If there is a proposal, the answer is yes. Whatever this opportunity is, it is a very attractive opportunity that leads to long-term success and prosperity and abundance. This is what you asked for. There's protection from above. So maybe somebody, because there's a connection to source, you know, maybe somebody from above has given you this opportunity. Obviously, you've earned it. It looks like you've earned it. And I think that you have been in a tough position you have. The lovers. So there could be a separation here. The lovers reverse is a separation. I feel like uh, this is the, like the end of a contract. I feel like it's time for you to end a contract that is no longer compatible. There may have been materialism issues here with these sixes. We have these two sixes here. Sixes are about materialism. Somebody may have been overly materialistic. But anyhow, I do believe that there's going to be some sort of separation from a contract where you are not getting what you deserve. It may have to do with a financial contract. It could be a partnership, any kind of partnership. With either, you know, partnership could be with a lover. It could be with a job, okay? I think there's going to be a separation from a contract where you go in your own way. You go independent. You may even become like a subcontractor, you know. I do see a partnership here though. You may maybe you're going to partner up with somebody new. Or there is a new or there's a partnership that is stepping it up to the next level. This is compatibility. It's a union that is very compatible. So you may be getting yourself into a new partnership. This is after a separation. So you could be partnering up with somebody else. Either way, you need to listen to your gut. Maybe you're signing a new contract and getting out of one with the lovers reversed. I feel like there is a detachment. There is a disconnection. And there's definitely a one-sidedness here with these two cards reversed. I think that you have been in a one-sided situation where there's been some sort of rejection or... A lack of reciprocation or inequality and I feel like it's time for you to take action and I think that you are going to be taking action you're going to be finding your courage and your confidence and your willpower and your determination to use your skills to bring abundance into your life and there is abundance coming into your life absolutely you're going to be flourishing things are flourishing for you you're going to be receiving family support. You may be even starting a family business. Or if you are in a family business, this family business should be flourishing at this time. Some of you may be even starting a family. You may also, for some of you, you may be receiving an inheritance. There is some sort of money that is coming in or is going to be coming in in the near future. Your hard work is definitely about to pay off. This, this is a broken relationship that leads to success. And this broken relationship could be with a job or a partner. Now you have something that is going to grow. And I think it's going to grow extremely fast. I really do. I think there has been a delay. 
And I think, you know, slow and steady wins the race. You, I think that you've reached the finish line, okay? I think that you can now, you should probably get back to the basics. basics. Maybe you need to step down from your current position. This is stepping down from a current position where you may have had too many responsibilities and going your own way. So anyway, Scorpio, I feel like this is a week. There is going to be an exciting event where you are about to, uh, you're going to be in complete control. It's like the control is handed over to you. You may be taking the control, okay? Um, starting your own business for some of you or partnering up with a new partner. So anyway, that's what I got. Good luck.